Hi, my name is Saima Irfan al Huck, and I am a Muslim filmmaker. I founded King Lahiri Productions in April 2020 when I turned a stage play I had written called King Lahiri, a loose adaptation of Shakespeare's King Lear, into a full length screenplay and started filming it. We have, um, I'm very proud to say that all of our cast and crew is at least 50% BIPOC as were the two shorts we later did as well. And um, also I love to say that everyone on my set said they feel very respected, very valued. And also as I do have a master's of public health because I am a first generation Indian woman in the United States. We're all about those STEM degrees um, that they felt safe. We had top notch COVID compliance and not one person got ill. And I'm friends with everyone who was on our sets. Um, what I brought it down to is I created sets that Muslim actors were respected and that we collaborated and that our stories were out there. There's so many different Muslim characters can be in one film and they don't have to be related to each other and, and that they're also different. Everyone's so different and it's beautiful. Um, and I did do it also because I'm an older person. I was born of that first generation um, to be born in the United States when they started letting Indians and Pakistanis in because they were doctors. And I grew up with people much like me in that we didn't grow up with our grandparents. We almost never saw our grandparents um, because we just couldn't go back to see them. And that's very unique. So I, I know that makes me have a different perspective than those who came after me. And I don't resent them for it. I just know that we're different and that all of those stories should be told, all of them, and we should be seen interacting with each other and not everyone, no one is the same. We're like butterflies. And, and that's actually where King Lahir even sprang from. My real life father was just telling us about his childhood home in India. And he mentioned that there were so many butterflies and they were extinct now. And he didn't say it like he was feeling sorry for himself. It was just in wonder. And I was like, people should know, sorry, <laughs> people should know the butterflies were here. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. Um, you know, this generation that worked so hard and they never took a selfie because when you took a photo, everyone you knew were in it. I mean, I showed this recently on a shoot and everyone was like, oh my God, wow. They thought it was wonderful. Um, this. When we did go back to see the grandparents, um, <laughs> that's my dad. <laughs> He's now 80. Everyone else is gone. Oh my God. <laughs> um, I want to do this for them, for me, and for Muslim, Muslims everywhere. And beyond that, I want to train younger filmmakers. I don't want to be one of the only female Muslim filmmakers out there. 16% of all filmmakers are women and even fewer are women of color and even fewer are Muslim and even fewer are my age. I want boatloads of us and I would love, I have been making my sets training grounds for younger actors who want to do this as a living, as, as, their, as their life's work, not just get the STEM degree as well, though I don't say don't do it if that's what you want. I want us to learn properly and make beautiful films and films that show, you know, the incredible vastness of it, of being Muslim in today's world and, and how you do interact with each other. And most of all, most of all, I want to show being Muslim without it having to be immediately compared and contrasted with anybody else. I think that's very important. It's very, very exhausting for someone to ask you about yourself. And as soon as you do say, well, that's like us, this, that's like us, that, and da, 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 da. It's like, but I just wanted to tell you about me, at which point I then get told I'm very angry and emotional. Um, but no one says that to a film because it just plays. So that was a lot, but that is me in a nutshell of why I'm very proud to be a Muslim female filmmaker and I really hope to get this grant, but one way or another, I'll still make those films and I hope you see them. Thank you.